Ooh, that's pretty good actually. So I won't be playing Delta then. Well, actually I could. You just won't be able to see all this shit in the border, innit? Eat, never mind. So... Funny thing. I was trying to remember the name of uh, an actress who appeared in uh, an episode of The Outer Limits. <clears throat> and that was really strange, that was. <clears throat> I couldn't remember. Coffee, quick. <sighs> That's better. <clears throat> Not really. Where's the fucking Kurt glasses? And, uh, yeah, actually, I can't find the glasses. Where the fuck are the glasses? Yeah, well, we'll have to uh, rely on my uh, natural retinas. Now that was uh, a few days ago and this morning the fucking thing just popped into my head it was like Nicola de Boa sometimes called Nikki de Boa yeah that's what IMDB says anyway or they used to say I, I didn't check and that is a weird thing and uh, this is this is no lie. I was trying to remember the name of uh, some guy who used to hang around with uh, Brian Bain, who, who I used to know at school. He was a he was a thief, and uh, he had the most expensive uh, BMX of all of us in the uh, school playground. Uh, I believe he had uh, a chrome diamond back with some Skyway Tufts. It's definitely uh, a silver BMX. I think the Tufts were blue, but I could be wrong. But anyway, I was trying to remember his name for yonks and yonks and yonks. Ah, probably half a decade. And then one day, I just remembered his name. Paul Pinnock. It's really weird how that works. But those are different kind of memories. So, we've got code masters here. I really do need some sort of glasses. Now, maybe because we're not looking at the uh, window, this might be acceptable. Yeah, these are almost acceptable. Okay, flights here. I think we've done that. Grand Prix. Yeah, fucking hell, I've done all of these. If I've done motocross, maybe it looks shit. Uh, ba, 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 ba. No, I don't like wrestling games. What's my name? Top Hat Gaming Man. Actually, there was a film where it said, like, uh, in the background, it said Top Hat Motel or something. <laughs> <coughs> I saved it as a screen grab, grab from VLC, but I don't know if it saves the name of, uh, you know, the, the film as well. Maybe it does. Let's hope so. Can't wait another five years to remember that. It's just a, a weird thing, it was. It was like a man and a woman in a car, and in the, like, the rear view, the, well, the, through the rear windscreen of the car, you could see this thing. It was called the Top Hat Motel. It was very weird. Is Little Puff related to DJ Puff? Oh, Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo Casino. Way back in the mists of time. Yeah, anyway. I don't think that work on a camera like this. But to be fair, this camera was designed to take brilliant pictures. And I have taken some pictures of the moon with this camera, which are absolutely astounding. And, uh, <clears throat> and also give you the facility to uh, record moving uh, images. 
in up to 720p with 25 frames per you have to remember this camera is four years old and I spent about a year and a half well I spent about half a year taking pictures of the cat so now I started messing about with a video and then did fuck all and then I turned on the NES bootleg Bollocks, you can actually see the uh, what you call it. Is that better? Now the alignment's going to go out. Yeah, that will fuck up the camera a bit actually. Eat. Maybe if we look from this angle, is it better? Yeah, a little bit. Would you like infinite money? Yes, please. 1989. Alright, uh, this would be about 253 quid. Go with joystick, thank you. I don't know how to play craps. It's uh, something to do with Snake Eyes, which is a Nicolas Cage film with Gary Sinise, which I always thought would be good and then I struggled to watch it from start to finish but uh, yeah should we play uh, poker no let's do roulette I've never played a roulette game so bet stake and off thousand no wonder people go fucking broke in a casino. No, 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 okay then. Please select odds. Evens. I do evens. And I'll bet. I always bet on red, Nick. What? I only want to bet once, fucking, all oh, right, are oh, you knob, so I'll bet, oh, that's a waste of time, isn't it, oh no, the graphics of the roulette are absolutely shit, I could have done them in fucking basic lightning, so that's not me, but only because uh, this bit is white, if that bit was sort of like a uh, Blake Carrington uh, stylish grey, uh, darker than that woman's great hair. So I come up with 23 red, right, okay. Evens loses, okay. So we're still up, we're two grand up, I don't know how that worked out. There we go. Should you do a Wesley Snipes going in? We could, uh, it could be a real short trip <laughs> to the casino. The badly uh, drawn 8 bit casino. Fucking hell. I used to be a real risk taker when I was young, I must admit. I kept borrowing money so I could uh, buy all the things I wanted. And thank God, I wouldn't buy a fucking mint condition uh, BMW 325 for like, I don't know, 15 grand now. You're joking, isn't it? Yeah, the first BMW 325 I had, it was... Uh, yeah, it was about four years old. I couldn't tell you exactly how old it was. No, actually, I have to, uh, yeah, because of the, uh, it was actually a C reg. <laughs> I still remember the number plate. 
because <clears throat> uh, the last three letters on the number plate were uh, XEX. And I used to say I'm an XEX maniac. Because I, I actually really like the BMW 325. I was driving relative piece of shit before that. And before that an actual piece of shit. So there is that. I mean, if you go from a, a 1983 Vauxhall Cavalier SRI. The SRI bit is important. It was a nice looking car. Probably weighed as much as a BMW 5 Series. Yeah, it would have been uh, less than four years. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, it would have been a... Hmm. Well, I know it was a 1986 car, and I know I bought it in 1990. So really, it was about four and a quarter years old. Unbelievable. This is the opposite of car shocks. It's like, please like us. Please like my rubbish game. Now, of course, gambling is very bad for you. I never actually gambled. Because uh, when I worked in my dad's... Oh, bollocks. When I worked in my dad's chip shop, um, I actually... I wanted to... Uh, uh, no, I went to do a Wesley Snipes out of Uh He used to send me out to uh, put bets on in the uh, betting shop up the road. Fuck, you know, if I had this much money in 1989, well, I'd feel like Bill Gates. I wouldn't actually be Bill Gates because I'm not a little prick, you see. Uh, these rubbers on this uh, on the bottom of this sipstick. Two of them are missing and two of them are like, well, they're like 40 year old perished rubber, even though they haven't seen the sunlight. Ooh, that's weird, they've got like really tough. Like a bit of licorice has been uh, left out in the Arctic, shielded from any kind of moisture, uh, for like 40 years, I guess. Right, so that's roulette. How do I fucking escape this shit? So, I bet you have to load it. There must be a way. If they knew what they were doing. So there's no quit option. Oh, actually, there is. You knob mad Commodore. Right, thank fuck for that. Can I play blackjack? Ooh, dirt. He's been using Regain. You must regain your youth. I think it's called Rogaine in America. Absolutely useless, that stuff. Oh, wow, look, you get to keep your money. Oh, man, I feel like James Bond with his uh, expense account. From the taxpayer's money. Right, so I've got, uh, what the fuck, that's yeah, so a 4 in the 9, 13, so we have to twist. There's something really weird about the uh, random number generator on the uh, C64. So maybe they weren't actually intentionally uh, cheating. I don't get to see his card. Uh, well, we have to twist. 14, you can't stick on 14. That is still a shit thing to stick on, so... So, yeah, this is quite correct, because if you don't beat the dealer, or if you don't stick, uh, which I couldn't, I can't so far. Money's going down fast, Mad Commodore. Let's just go for it. I've got 
got 14 again. Something very weird going on here. Right, okay, we'll stick with 19. Next! So, uh, I don't know how you play craps. Something to do with if you get two ones or something. Right, I'm just going to do pass line, which I believe. Actually, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I just have memories of uh, Michael Knight, male bimbo that he is, uh, playing craps. I think it's the first part of the two-part episode, Goliath, the start of season two. I really can't watch stuff like that anymore because it's like, well, that's not possible. Well, I know they fucking ruined about 50 of those uh, Trans Ams. So I think it's a uh, pass line is if it's above six and don't pass is if it's six or below uh, c64 random number generator is generally high so i'm going to go with pass line right <sighs> it's quite an interesting game Um, right, the, the problem with this game is these sort of games were really from like the VCS in television era. And uh, actually, I don't know if I've got one here. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. This is why I want all my stuff unpacked. God damn it. So, now I'm not sure how much these would have been. So, but... There's no roulette game on the VCS. Maybe there's not enough sprites for that, but there you go, you've got Blackjack on the VCS. And uh, a special edition of uh, Casino with four video games on the VCS. I'm trying to get the uh, art in there because it's not actually that bad. So you've got an ace at the top left and a king at the uh, bottom right. That's a bit weird. Thank fuck I bought all this shit decades ago, mate. I think I uh, stopped buying VCS games uh, around 2008. I didn't actually intentionally stop. I was just like, well, I've got some and I'll buy some a bit later in it. We need to... Uh, Stock up on the C64s, we only got three or four or something like that. No, actually, I probably had ten by then. I do remember offering to uh, spray one pink for a girl I knew, so. Yeah. So, maybe uh, poker's quite good, but uh, there's something weird going on with the uh, C64 there with the random numbers. 